Well, hi all my friends, how you doing? Um, we're almost done with here with the book of Jeremiah, so that's really good. I'm happy for that, and I'm going to not talk too much because this long, this chapter is really long. It uh, looks like the House passed a sweeping sanction against um, North Korea and Russia and so forth. Ooh, that's going to be interesting, and hopefully it'll it'll do some good. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> We shall see. Okay, so chapter 51, do pray before you hear God's word. Okay. Um, it, it's about the severe judgments of God against Babylon in revenge of Israel. Okay. Now, in the, um, never mind, I'm just going to go on. All right. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will rise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a, a destroying wind. And will send unto Babylon fanners and shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. Against him that um, lifteth himself up in a brigadine. And spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her host. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God, of the Lord of hosts. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel, flee out of the midst of Babylon, deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, yet she is not healed. Forsake her, let her, let us go, every one to his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come, and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Make bright arrows, gather the shields, the Lord hath risen up, the spirit of the kings of Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord and the vengeance of his temple. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon, make the watch strong, set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes for the Lord hath both devised and done that which he spoke against the inhabitants of Babylon. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, Thine end is come in thy measure of thy covetousness. The Lord of hosts hath sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. He hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom, and he has stretched out the heavens by his understanding. When he uttered his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens. And he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightning with rain and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded. By the graven image of his molten image is falsehood. And there is no breath in them. They are vanity, the work of errors. In the time of their visitation they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, and he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance, and the Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break into pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also I will break in pieces man and women. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. 
And I will also break into pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee I will break in pieces the husband and his yoke of oxen. And with thee I will break in pieces the captains and rulers. I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of the uh, Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee. I will destroy mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. And they shall not take the stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations, but thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Lord. Set ye up a standard in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her, call together against her the kingdoms of Aarat, Minai, Ashkenaz, appoint a captain against her, cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars. Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes, the captains thereof, all the rulers thereof, and all the land of his dominion. And the land shall tremble in sorrow, and every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon, to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant. The mighty men of Babylon have forborn to fight, they have remained in their holds, their might hath failed. They have become as women. They have burnt their dwelling places. Her bars are broken. One post shall run to meet another, one messenger to meet another, to show the king of Babylon that his city is taken at one end. And the passages are stopped. The reeds have been burnt with fire, and the men of war are frightened. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon, is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her, yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, hath devoured me. He has crushed me. He hath made an empty vessel. He hath, made, he hath swallowed me up like a dragon. He hath filled his belly with my delicates. He hath cast me out. The violence done to me and my and to my flesh be upon Babylon. Shall the inhabitants of Zion say, My blood upon the inhabitants of Chaldea? Shall Jerusalem say? Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will plead thy cause. I will take vengeance for thee, and I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. This is divine... Um, vengeance okay in babylon shall become heaps a dwelling place for dragons and astonishment and the hissing without inhabitant they shall roar together like lions and they shall yell as lions whelps in their heat i will make their feast and i will make them drunken and they shall rejoice and sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake saith the lord I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, like rams with he goats. Now is Shishak taken. Now is the praise of the whole earth surprised. How is Babylon become an astonishment among the nations? The sea has come up upon Babylon. She is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. Her cities are desolation, a dry land, and a wilderness, a land wherein no man dwelleth, neither doth any son of man pass thereby. And I will punish Bel in Babylon, and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he hath swallowed up, and the nation shall not flow together any more unto him. Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. My people go out ye out of the midst of her, and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. Let your heart faint and fear no uh, yea, and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land and ruler against ruler. Therefore, behold, the days come, and I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her.
<clears throat> then the heaven and the earth, that is all that, um, uh, and, and all that is therein, shall sing for Babylon. For the spoilers shall come unto her from the, from the north, saith the Lord. Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. Yea, that have escaped the sword, go away, stand not still, remember the Lord afar off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. We are confounded because we have heard reproach, shame hath covered our faces, for strangers are come into the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. Uh, wherefore behold the days come saith the Lord that I will do judgment upon her graven image images and through all her land and wounded shall groan though Babylon should mount up to heaven and though she should fortify the height of her strength yet from me shall spoilers come unto her saith the Lord humiliation is what they're talking about a sound of a cry cometh from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans because the Lord hath spoiled Babylon and destroyed out of her the great voice when her waves do roar like great waters a noise of their voice is uttered because the spoilers come upon her even upon Babylon her mighty men are taken every one of their bow bows is broken and the Lord God of recompenses shall surely requiet retribution and i will make drunk her princesses and her wise men and her captains and her rulers and her mighty men and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake with the king whose name is the lord of hosts thus saith the lord of, of host the broad walls of babylon shall be utterly broken her high gates shall be burnt with fire people shall labor in vain and the folk in the fire and they shall be weary the sword which J jeremiah the prophet commanded sir Aiah, the son of neriah the son of masetha when he went to zedekiah the king of judah unto babylon into the fourth year of his reign and this Sariah was a quiet prince so Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that should come upon Babylon, even all those words that are written against Babylon. Jeremiah said, said to Sarariah, When thou comest to Babylon, thou shalt see, and thou shalt read all of these words. Then thou shalt say, O Lord, thou hast spoken against this place to cut it off. None shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but that it shall be desolate forever. And it shall be, when thou hast made an end of reading this book, that thou shalt bind a stone to it, and cast it into the midst of the Euphrates. And thou shalt say, Thus, thus shall Babylon sink, and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her. They shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. I'm going to stop there uh, and do one more video and finish up. Um, this um, book of Jeremiah. Okay, one more. All right. Talk to you soon. May God bless you and keep you always. Do leave me a thumbs up if you like my channel and uh, subscribe. Leave me comments. I'd love to know more about you and how things are going for you. Take care. Bye-bye.